Are you using Discord to connect with your community members? Or perhaps you've created a classroom server to encourage student conversation and engagement. Or maybe you now use Discord as your business's conversation platform. Whatever the use case, Paperform now offers a direct integration with Discord. So let's take a look at how you can connect your online forms to your Discord servers. G'day everyone, Alex again here from the support crew at Paperform, and today I'm gonna to run through the direct integration with Discord. Now Discord is a platform designed for text, voice, and video chat, and it's most famously known as being the number one communications platform for gamers and streamers. However, it's beginning to find its place and seeing more and more members sign up for community discussion groups, educational purposes, business operations, event management, the use cases appear to be endless. Now, if you're interested in a topic, there's no doubt there will be a channel on Discord with people talking about it right now. And with Paperform, you can automatically and instantly trigger actions to occur within your Discord server as soon as your form receives submissions. For the sake of this video, I created a Discord server. Within it, I've got a channel that relates to my history study group. We chat all things history, and I share quizzes that I created on Paperform with other members. But each time one of the members completes that quiz, I wanna share the results directly into the Discord channel. We can do this with the integration, so let's take a look. But firstly, before we set up an integration, we need to ensure that we run a test submission of our form or quiz, and this is so the system has real data to test the connection between paper form and Discord. Now, the process to set up the integration is quite simple. From the form editor, we're gonna head up to after submission and select integrations and web hooks. We'll then find the Discord icon and click it, making the actions appear visible. For this example, I'm gonna to select to send a channel message because I wanna send a message to my history study group channel. Then we'll be prompted to add our Discord account. So go ahead and click add account. A new window will open, which will ask us to select our server. I'm gonna select my study group server. I'll click the drop down menu and click study group, then continue, and then I'll hit authorize. And voila. After that, we can see that my Discord account and server has been successfully selected. Now, let's select the channel I'd like to populate a message with, and it's time to configure the message. We can use the process of answer piping to display our submitters' responses to questions. So I'll click on the blank line of the message field. I'm gonna select that icon we see up here on the right-hand side. Clicking this will open a drop-down menu. On this drop-down menu, it'll give us some data that we can pull from the form submission, particularly questions and results. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the response from the submitter to what is your Discord username? I'll then type received. I'm gonna click that icon again and I actually set up the scoring feature on my quiz. If you'd like to learn more about that, then make sure to check out the description below. The scoring feature allows you to attribute values to responses from your submitter. All right, selecting that, I'll then pipe that in and it'll be out of a total of five. And then I'll just type on the fun history quiz. And voila, it's easy as that. So now it's time to send a test. I'll click the send test button and voila, it's a success. So let's jump to the Discord channel and we can see that the paper form bot has actually sent a message into the channel stating Alex Loves History received three out of five on the fun history quiz. And that's because I purposefully answered three out of the five questions correctly. What we need to do now is jump back into the form editor and click finish setup. All right, simple enough, right? And if we scroll down, we'll see we have the ability to click this cogwheel or gear icon here. And it's from here we can edit the integration. We can look at the history of past triggers. We can also duplicate or delete, but perhaps you just wanna turn your integration off. Well, easy enough, we've got you covered. All you need to do is toggle that there button. And that's it. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our channel for more tutorial videos on our platform and have fun creating.